Hello everyone and welcome back to I She Tell. Shiori's Route, what I suspect may be the last episode of Shiori's Route, but we'll see. And then after we finish up this, it'll basically just be the rejection and alternate confession episode, which I'm looking forward to that in that it's going to make my soul hurt. But we will cross that bridge when we get to it. In the last episode, we played an invigorating game of hide and seek with Shiori in the closet. Then we did more stuff in the bath, and now things are awkward. Not exactly where I was expecting us to go considering it seemed like we were doing so well, but ever since she eavesdropped on Hajime when he was giving the advice or recounting his relationship with student number whatever and Hakua in the student council room, I'm sure he'll figure out a way to solve it soon enough. I mean, he has to. It's a romantic comedy. Hmm. If an aggressive approach didn't work, maybe I should take a step back. After taking a bath and clearing my head, a less fun bath, I come back to my room and start thinking about Shiori. She ran away from me earlier, so she'd probably get annoyed if I sent her a message right now. Huh? Is she listening again? I look at my phone and see that Shiori actually sent me a message herself. Twelve in the lounge. That's ominous. Oh shit, really? Wait, that's still two hours off. Though it is a huge weight off my shoulders that she contacted me first. I am curious as to what she wants to talk about, but I'm just happy that she's willing to talk to me first and foremost. Ooh, okay. So we dodged that. I didn't realize we were that close to a solution. Of course. Again, it's a romantic comedy. It's not going to stay that serious for that long. Well, okay, I said that, but I'm having flashbacks to King Koi, and things did get quite serious in King Koi, so but this isn't that type of romantic comedy. I should probably leave now. A glance at the clock tells me it's 11.55 right now. This wait has felt like an eternity. It's been one week, so I want to see Shiori as soon as possible. I'll be there a few minutes early, but she might already be out there. To prepare, I put on some loungewear. So, like, what Hugh Hefner used to wear? That's just what I think of when I think of loungewear. Oh, guess she didn't want to wait. Yeah? It's not midnight yet. Shiori? I would never mistake that voice. What's up? I thought you wanted to meet in the lounge. She's all dressed up, too. Almost as if we're about to go out on a date. Oh no, I had the wires crossed. She usually wears nightwear around the dorm, so it threw me off for a second. Is this one of those we need to talk talks? Because I don't like those. She must be talking about the time when we were kissing and Yamabuki came. In. Came in. Come on in. You've got to be cold out there. I'll make an exception this once. You were planning on talking in my room, weren't you? <laughs> I'd normally get in big trouble if someone found out I brought a girl into my room, especially this late at night. However, I share her sentiment. I want us to talk in private without any worries of someone overhearing us. Sorry for the way I'm dressed. I was planning to change before meeting you. Her voice is stiff, and her tone low. It feels like she's nervous. So you said you had something important to talk about? Is it related to why you've been avoiding me ever since I got back to the dorm? That's a yes. She begins to say something, but quickly stops and goes silent. Feeling somewhat awkward, she avoids looking me in the eye. She always used to be shy, but it feels like she's reverted even beyond that. You aren't mad at me, are you? Shake. She answers by shaking her head back and forth. Then did I do something to make you feel awkward? <laughs> That's a yes. Judging by that reaction, I'd say yes. I can't think of anything, though. Uh, 
You see, it's kind of awkward because if she says exactly what's bothering her, then she gives away that she was eavesdropping, even though we already know she was. That's fine. Rather than brooding over it by yourself, let me help you. She scowls at me from under her eyelashes, but I find nothing scary about that expression. So instead, wanting to reassure her that I love her, I softly rub her head. Maybe it is, but I have to be a good boyfriend every now and then if I want to keep you. I think it looks better this way. I'll stop if you really want me to. Alright. So, can you tell me what's on your mind? She takes a deep breath to calm her heart before speaking. I'm not going to lie, it was a week ago, so not really. The one where I told you to go back to the dorm without me? Ah. Aha, so you were listening. I had a feeling that was her. That's probably when I was talking to Hakua and the other guy about our relationship. <laughs> I like how we don't even know the other guy's name. It's a bit belated, I know, but I start to worry if maybe I said something odd. Hmm. Something odd. Uh, out of curiosity, how much did you hear? Well, shit. And I got so embarrassed that I ran away. Pretty much. There wasn't anything beyond that. You heard all of it. Well, no wonder things are so awkward between us now. I got so caught up in my bragging that I completely forgot about my sense of shame as I spouted off all those embarrassing things. Uh, I was kind of just joking, but it wasn't entirely untrue either. I have no room for excuses. <sighs> Sorry, I can't really blame you for being a little surprised. There's so much uncertainty in this conversation. R really? Even though she said it was a good thing, her expression seems somewhat glum. Why so? Hmm, okay. So it's awkward because you said it to other people, but not to her. There's still time. So that's why you said you were busy? <laughs> oh, you're so silly, honestly. A little bit. I was expecting something way more serious. Now I just feel silly. Yeah, but I love you for the way you are, Shiori. <laughs> Seeming a little embarrassed, she drops her head onto my chest. You, you want me to say all those things to your face? I only said them because I knew she wasn't there. I don't know if I'll be able to say them to her directly without dying of embarrassment. But those are my true feelings. Ow. So I shouldn't shy away from them. That's okay, I'm still recovering from the true feelings. What's up? あの、本当なら私が知らないはずの初めの気持ち。盗み聞きしちゃったのはフェアじゃないから。だからここは先に初めが知らない私の気持ち、ちゃんと聞いてほしいの。How you truly feel about me? もしかしたら 
、私の方から先に言うはずだったかもしれない言葉。Well, you did confess first. 私、この先もずっとずっと、はじめと一緒にいたい。おばあさんになって、たとえどっちかが先に死んじゃっても、最後まで、私は幸せだったって思いたい。Why are you talking about death all of a sudden? Yeah, that escalated really quickly. That's thinking way too far ahead. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. Her smile is so bright that it's hard to believe she was so nervous and tense mere minutes ago. It steals my heart, and I even forget to breathe for a moment. <sighs> uh, sorry, I just can't look at your face at the moment. This was how she felt all along? Yep. I do. I understand how you feel about me from the bottom of your heart. And I understand how you've been feeling all throughout today. Well, kind of. You pretty much just proposed to me, in a sense. Ah, you got me there. The smile goes away, and her face turns bright red as she becomes flustered. Seeing all these facial expressions is such a delight. Even if I think I'm the happiest I can be, there's always new things to enjoy. Wait, though. Didn't you. Didn't you say that didn't count because you were eavesdropping on me? Okay, so you said it first. You proposed to me, and I didn't, because I wasn't saying it directly to you at the time. Ha. Just calm down, Shiori. You decided to forget my feelings so I could tell them to you again, right? So, isn't it kind of weird for you to be urging me like that? Okay, I should probably stop teasing her about this now. Sorry, Shiori. Since they're words that come from the heart, I don't want to say them again and again until it gets to the point where they feel cheap and meaningless. So, I need a little bit more time before I'm ready. Coward. Can I ask you to be patient until then? Alright, it's been five minutes. Tell me your feelings. Her face flushes with embarrassment and she nods approvingly. <laughs> I won't deny it. And I love you too. She slightly raises her chin. Expectation in her eyes. Well, I know what this episode is going to be about. Does that mean what I think it means? Alright. It means what I think it means. Okay. Boy, those true feelings pack a punch. Oh, hi. Well, um, not sure where this is gonna cut, but we'll find out. Shiori? Alright then. I see t e r And we're back! Things escalated. There was some talk of personal growth, along with some personal growth. Also, she finally showed off the new lingerie. We can still see it. This might be okay, maybe. This is kind of nice. What? What's that? The CG that we may or may not be able to see. I've never really seen you get dressed before. Seeing you sitting on my bed in your underwear really makes it set in. My mind's like, yeah. Okay. Ahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
But do you want me to turn my eyes away till you're done? I mean, it would make it easier for me to edit, but you know, it's whatever. Nonsense, I'm reading the text at the bottom of the screen, too. Please, you don't have to say that out loud. Even if it was unconscious, that's still a little embarrassing. Actually, who am I kidding? Of course I'd stare. They're my girlfriend's boobs, and she's wearing a such a pretty bra, too. それにやっぱり私自分のスタイルに自信があるわけじゃないからでも初めがそんな風に見てくれるからだんだん自分のこの胸も嫌いではなくなってきたんだよねクール、cool, it helps Are you praising me? 少なくとも感謝はしてるよ Okay 私の体でも大好きな人をちゃんと満足させてあげられるんだなって思えるから Lies, lies and slander of course I am satisfied, but that isn't the issue right now. Can I say something before I give you my answer? Don't, mm, I don't know, the qualifier sounds iffy. I like boobs your size, Shiori. Super big ones aren't my ideal type in this particular timeline. Uh, that was a serious statement. <laughs> We're a perfect match, aren't we? Shiori. I love you so much. The more I learn about her, the harder I fall for her. As my chest fills with those feelings of joy, Shiori finishes changing, and we then lean our shoulders against each other and relaxingly enjoy the peace and quiet of night. Alright, I have no idea how much of that scene's gonna make it in the final cut. Many feelings. Good feelings. And more... etchy talk. Loud by the station. Looks like we're ahead of schedule. There's even an earlier train we can take. What do you want to do? Where are we going? Clap, clap, clap. Ooh, cake. Alright, sounds like a plan. Today is the anniversary of the school's founding, and Shiori and I have decided to use the holiday to take a trip back to our hometown. Oh, cool. As Shiori already needed to take care of some business back home, I'd offer to tag along so we could announce the news to her parents. Although we'd both be heading home at the end of the year, regardless, I haven't been back since last summer, so today was a good opportunity to visit as any. Hmm, that woman over there. I'm trying to spot a woman, apparently. Look, over there, the old lady with the yellow backpack. All right, I'll take your word for it. Tourists aren't a rare sight around here by any means. But something caught my eye about this old woman in particular. She appeared to be studying a map, but kept retracing her steps again and again with extreme uncertainty. She looks so distracted, and I'm scared she might step out onto the road by mistake. Oh, oh no, not the Eastgate truck. Things are going too well. Shuri's warning comes too late as the old lady accidentally bumps into another female tourist. Sorry, but I think we should... Thanks, Yuri. Although we might end up missing the early train, we decide to offer the old lady our assistance nonetheless. If there's some place she's searching for, we can always direct her to the Tourism Association or the local police box if all else fails. Excuse me, ma'am? That's what we should be asking you. Naturally, the old lady turns towards us with a look of surprise. Actually, we were wondering if you needed any help. We noticed you were looking around, going in circles. Poor lady doesn't even have a portrait. We are, but today is a school holiday, so we have the day off. 
To a stranger, Shiori and I must look like a couple of baddies skipping out on class, given that we were wandering around at noon on a weekday. Is there anything we can do for you? Oh, okay. Were you about to head home then? It might be too early to say, but perhaps we'd been worried for nothing. I'm assuming that her husband is no longer with us. Is your husband still looking around for this place, or...? Yeah, I figured. Oh, shit. I I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> While I appreciate her candor, it's no wonder she seemed so different from all the other usual tourists. It'd be easy enough to guide her to the nearby tourism association. Hmm. If I may ask, how many years ago did you and your husband last come here? So, ne. Ooh, no wonder you got lost. Now that Shiori mentions it, a lot of new buildings have been cropping up around the development district in recent memory, to say nothing of the area around the station. If the place this old lady is looking for is somewhere nearby, she'll probably have a slew of difficulties finding it. And what other plans did you have for today, ma'am? In that case, I should be able to find this place before she returns home if I start my search now. The only problem is whether or not I'll be able to return home. By the way, what is this place you're looking for? I might be able to help you find it. I throw Shiori an apologetic glance as she looks at me with surprise. Ooh, that might actually be difficult to find. Hmm, a fountain. It's going to be like a scavenger hunt for fountains. Seriously? Wow. How many fountains have you already visited, ma'am? Well, so much for going home, I guess. <laughs> By the sound of things, I might seriously have to consider giving up on the trip back home. Is there anything else you can recall about it? Any striking features? Dang, if only Yamabuki was here. I'm sure she knows all about the rabbit fountain. Shiori's cheeks flush a faint red as our eyes abruptly meet, but she quickly looks away. No, it's fitting. We were just talking about this last night before things got hot and bothered. That's all right, ma'am. If this fountain's that important to you, we have to find it. Perhaps there was something about the old lady I empathized with. I could see the deep loneliness in her eyes, despite the smile on her lips. Still, I don't have any right to drag Shiori into this. I can't forget, she's only recently gotten to the point where she can hold a conversation with a stranger. I should just apologize and tell her to take the trip home without me. Listen, Shiori... Yeah... Uh... Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll stay here, but you can still go to your parents' house without me. I knew it. We're going to go to the fountain together. And we're probably going to make something akin to a promise to propose at the fountain? I don't know. I'm sure it's going to lead to some sort of relevant jump. What? Why? 
今朝のうちに安政が帰ってるから大丈夫。Visiting your parents wasn't a real reason? Alright. Although she doesn't seem to be upset, it's obvious that she made her decision because of what I said. 私は寮に戻るから、はじめも頑張ってね。Oh. Well, I thought you were gonna come with. それと、ちょっといいですか私 I'm not able to overhear anything that they talk about. But after a brief exchange, Shiori bows her head to the old lady and sets off towards the shore. Alright, I'm going to start looking for this fountain. You said you had a room booked at the hotel, so does that mean you'll be here until tomorrow at the very least? Eh, secaku no moi de no basha da si. Nichio bi no yu gata ma dewa kochi ni iru tsumori da ta kara. Today is Friday, which means we have two whole days until her departure. How far apart are these fountains? Then how about we meet here tomorrow afternoon, around 2 p.m.? School lets out around noonish for us, so there's no problem. So, no, no. Demo, hontoni, watashiwa sagashi ni kanakte ino kashira. I feel like it would take a lot longer. You said you'd recognize the fountain if you saw it, so I'm going to take pictures of every single one in town. That way you can point out the right one to me, and I can lead you straight there. So, ja, anata ga taihen de shu? I think it'll be fine, it's good exercise, gives me a chance to get out, and don't call me Shirley. Well, I can't deny that. But after hearing about your husband's proposal earlier, I just felt like I had to lend you a hand. I can't say I understand how her husband felt when he asked her to marry him all those years ago. But because I'd promised Shiori to do the same one day. <laughs> so, arigato. Nara, onegai s t e m o i k a s h i r a She didn't question me any further than that, but I had a feeling she'd already guessed my relationship with Shiori. After saying goodbye to the old lady, I make my way towards the Tourism Association's office to begin my search. I'll find out where these fountains are, mark them down on a map, and. What? Umi? Searching for the Fountain of Youth. Oh, Aoba! Hey! Hey! Konnichiwa! Aoba had told me she'd be going out today, too. Apparently, her plans had been with Ko Kozuka and Moka chan here. I, well, yeah, that's her friend group. Well, some things happened. I don't have much time to waste if I'm to photograph every fountain in town, so I give Aoba a brief summary of my encounter with the old lady. Actually, Kozuka might know about some of these fountains. I would also do it for cats. Oh, I know you were. You're a good girl. Don't worry, I know you were. You need to stop twisting people's words, Aoba. I told you, we were just going to tell them that we started dating. That's it. That's just your tinnitus. Either way, that chance will have to wait until next time. I mean, we can, but we're not on your route. You'd be willing to? I mean, I'd sure appreciate it, but you really don't have to. Well, I did kind of call this. I'm gonna give myself partial credit. Ah, right. The whole PR business had been Kosuka's idea in the first place. Nope. Really? You don't even have a job. <laughs> okay, wow. With a calm smile on her face, Kozuka grabs Aoba by the scruff of her neck before she can make her escape. She's got Aoba completely under her thumb, huh? 
それじゃあ私も協力していいですか Sure, why not? You're more than welcome to, but you don't have to if you don't want. 先輩の話聞いた後だと不謹慎かもしれませんけど。Do you wanna hang out with me? 私もこの町のことはよく知らないから、oh. なんだか楽しそうだなって。そういう理由じゃやっぱりダメですか No, that's a pretty good reason. Not at all. I'm happy to take all the help I can get. はい、頑張りますね。Okay. 仕方ない。こうなりゃ私もたまには人様のために人肌脱いじゃいますかね I'm earning them wings today. Thanks, Alba. And you too as well, Kozuka, Mokachan. I hate to take time out of your holiday, but I'll make it up to you sometime. I promise. We could go to Suggestion Lion finally. ねは、先に観光協会は連絡を入れておきますわね。Kozuka steps off to the side for a moment to make her phone call. She can be surprisingly perceptive at the strangest times. But it might come off the wrong way if I told them Shiori had gone back to the dorm herself. I asked her to take care of a few errands for me instead, since I'd be too busy. Well. お二人はもうそこまで進んでいるんですかまさか卒業と同時に婚姻届を出しに行こうと考えてるんじゃ。Foreshadowing? No, no, we are not. では考えましょう。ドラマチックで素敵です。No pressure. Why is she looking at me like that? もか、恋愛漫画とかドラマが大好きだから。That would do it. Okay. お待たせいたしました。連絡がついたので、で、何かございまして。Nothing at all. Nothing happened. If you told them we're coming, we'd better hurry up and get going. If they press me for any more details, they could potentially find out about that night Shiori proposed to me, so I hastily put an end to the conversation. With my three new companions in tow, we carry on towards the Tourism Association's office by the shore. I mean, it was like a pseudo proposal. Good afternoon. Oh, konnichiwa. Kozuka san kara renaku wa moratte masu yo. When we arrive at the office, we're given a cheerful greeting by the usual association member, who seemed to have been waiting for us. Sorry for the sudden visit today. I appreciate the help. Ii in desu yo. Kensei kan no seito kai. E to yu ka, Ninomiya san tachi ni wa kochira mo tasuke rare te imasu shi. It's all good. Mushiro, tayori ni shite moraete hotto shite imasu kara. 先輩かっこいい<笑>大人の人と普通に喋ってるうんうんそれでこそ私のお兄だ Proud sister moment I mean I'm definitely flattered but their compliments are kind of embarrassing to hear first hand ところでお電話の件ですがほうそうですね何でもこの町の噴水をすべて見て回りたいとか I don't suppose you have a fountain map. Yes, if you could just show me where they are located, I'll mark them down on a map and be on my way. Immediately, I could tell it wasn't going to be good news. Wait, how many fountains are there now? That's understandable. It isn't necessarily the Tourism Association's job to keep track of every nook and corner of the town. Oh no, this is going to be one of those situations where we have to keep going to different offices for the rest of the day. The municipal office? Dang it, I just came from the station. This is my first time hearing of it, but that must be the place the man is referring to. Wow, how did he do all of this on such short notice? Thank you very much. I apologize for bothering you with all of this. I know you must be very busy. 
いえいえちょうど花森さんからも同じ内容で連絡をもらっていたのでああ、ノーキッディ何か重要な案件かと思いまして。シオリコードああ、ポニーがシオリネに頼んでたことってこういうことだったんだ。Yeah, totally. やっぱりすごいね、二宮先輩って。よくわかりませんが、私が手を回すよりも先を行かれていたとは。さすが、形成官の生徒会長ですわね。I just have crazy MC energy. I'm just as confused as you are, actually. Although I'm certainly curious as to what Shiori's been getting up to, we make our way to the municipal office as directed. Oh, I bet we're going to run into each other at the same time, at the right fountain. Everything will work out. Alright, now we know where all the fountains are. After explaining things to the representative, he marked down their exact locations for us on a map that I'd borrowed from the Tourism Association. Thankfully, it doesn't look like we'll need to go on a wild goose chase around town. If we split up to take the pictures, we'll be done in no time flat. We're almost at the finish line, guys. I'm counting on you. Don't say that. Things go wrong when you say that. いい you see, she gets it. I sure hope she didn't. Well, there's 15 fountains and there's four of us, and that's the extent of my math. Good night. There are 13 fountains in total. Wait. Okay, so we'll be split into two groups. That'll be seven and six fountains, respectively. Why don't Aoba and I do these seven, while you and Mocha chan do these six? I thought they said there were 15. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not sure how long this will take, but you can just go home once you're finished. That'd be great, thanks. Oh, that reminds me, Mocha chan, let me give you my number before we go. Alright, good luck, everyone. After exchanging numbers with Mocha chan, everyone quickly split off toward our assigned fountains. By the time we finished taking our pictures, the sun had already begun to set. Okay, maybe we won't be meeting up at the fountains. Yeah, that crow echoes my internal thought process right now. Every time I think I've got this figured out, I'm like. You know what? That's actually pretty on point. When we returned to the dorm, Aoba, exhausted from all of the walking, heads straight for the stairs, slumping over the railing as she climbs her way up. <laughs> Just imagining her going up the stairs like a slinky normally goes down the stairs. You did good, kiddo. Thanks again for the help today. I know you're tired, but don't lie down while you eat, okay? You know what? Fair. You cheeky little. Well, whatever. I guess she earned it. Don't choke. After going back to my room, I quickly change out of my sweaty shirt. Kozuka and Mocha chan messaged me that they finished as well, so all that's left is to wait for them to send me their pictures. Actually, I'd better message Shiori and see what she's up to. I still feel bad that she had to cancel her trip home because of me, so. Good timing. Yeah? You have a sixth sense for this. Either that or my room's bugged. I still think my room's bugged. Shiori? Y yeah, of course. Oh, um. Why did you lock the door? Okay. She comes into the room with a look of nonchalance, casually locking the door behind her, perhaps as a precaution against any southern, southern visitors. Well, shoot, you know, once they come into the room, they'll just be talking all night long and never gonna be able to get away. 20 minutes to say goodbye, shoot. Casually locking the door behind her, perhaps as a precaution against any other sudden visitors. How'd you know I just got back? Makes sense. Oh, that's right. Here's a cup of pudding and some cream puffs that I bought to make up for today. I'm sorry about the trip, really. 
Well, you know how you said there was that new cake shop you wanted to visit back home? Since we won't get the opportunity to go there now, I went and got these from the shopping district instead. Sokka. I have my moments. She smiles happily after giving me a light peck on the cheek. <clears throat> so, does this mean you forgive me? She gives me a blank stare, as if she has no idea what I mean. She wasn't mad to begin with. Well, you suddenly stormed off back to the dorm today, so I thought... Ah, so it can be hard to tell with Shiori sometimes, but judging from her reaction, it seems like she's telling the truth. Really? Well, if you're not mad, then I'll be taking back the pudding and cream puffs. <laughs> why? Why? Why would you poke the bear? I'm kidding, I'm kidding! They're yours. I bought them for you. <laughs> she grins, punching me lightly on the shoulder. A question? Uh, well? No, I know you'd never do something like that. I mean, you can love somebody and also be angry at them. Since I'd been worried I had upset her somehow, it's a relief to hear her set the record straight. Can I give you a hug right now? Do I need a reason? I place my hands on her shoulders, gently pulling her into my arms. And so are you. And you smell really nice, too. The brush of her soft, silky hair is like a gentle caress across my skin. You know, when that old lady told us the story of her husband's proposal, I felt like I just had to help her. It wasn't that I thought she was more important than you, Shuri, but I... Okay. <laughs> Unable to make use of her hands, Shiori pushes her lips against mine, somewhat forcefully, in order to stop me from talking. Shiori? わかるよ。あの時私も同じ気持ちだったから。だって私にとっても、あの夜は本当に特別で大切な時間で。だから、おばあさんの気持ちもすごくよくわかって。で、やっぱりこの話はダメ。恥ずかしくて耐えられない。
Speaking of... Oh, speak of the devil. I opened the message from Kozuka to reveal a number of pictures of the six fountains she'd visited, taken from various angles. After sending her a quick thank you reply, I turned back to Shiori. Yep, I bumped into her, Kozuka, and Mokachan after you went back to the dorm, and they helped me take all these photos. That wasn't part of the deal. I guess those snacks I bought weren't enough compensation. Now that I think about it, though, it would have been pretty tough trying to visit all 13 fountains by myself. I'm lucky I ran into those three, in spite of the fact that there were 13 fountains. I know. Yeah, Aoba and I photographed seven of them, while Kozuka and Mokachan did the other six. Okay, so she did say 15. Are there supposed to be more? I don't know where she did this research, but apparently she'd been conducting a little investigation of her own. So are you coming with me tomorrow? I promised to meet the old lady at the station around 2 p.m. Okay. Then why'd you keep looking for the fountains even after you said you were going back to the dorm? Aha, so it is going to be my initial theory about her wanting to meet up at the fountain and do a special proposal or something. In that case, we should have just gone looking for them together from the start. But then why didn't she say anything? It remains a mystery, but maybe she just forgot to tell me. All right, well, I'll just meet her myself then. It's fine, the door's locked. Okay, see you at dinner then. Shiori peeks into the hallway to check if the coast is clear before slipping out of the room. What's wrong? You forgot something? What'd I do? Oh, it's you, Yasumasa. I didn't know you were back. Judging by his tone, he seems to have had a rather long day himself. Did something happen back home? My parents did. <laughs> We're pretty much next door neighbors, though. If you don't count Saito-san's house, between ours, that is. We'd be the same distance from both of our families no matter where we lived. We didn't even think about that. Talk about finding a middle ground. Literally! We'll do. Thanks. This is way too much for me, though. You gotta help me eat some of this, Yasumasa. Afterwards, there wasn't much for us to do until supper. So Yasumasa and I decided to pick the rest of the evening... Yep, that's what that says, okay. So Yasumasa and I decided to pick the rest of the evening playing video games as we nibbled on pickled snacks. Spend? I guess. I see teru. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I gotta get going soon. Take care of things at the student council for me, will you, Yamabuki? Ruby. Sure thing. See you later. Leaving Yamabuki to hold down the fort, I sling my book bag over my shoulder and get ready to meet the old lady. As for Shiori... I thought about asking her to come along one more time, but it looks like she already left for her club. Kozuka and the other two are apparently busy today as well, so I don't think they'll be able to make it either. Bit of a shame, since they were such big help photographing the fountains, but I don't want to startle the old lady by showing up with a group of strangers. Maybe it's better I show up alone after all. Ah, she's already waiting for me. 
I arrive at the station a bit earlier than the time we had agreed on, and I quickly spot the old lady already sitting on a bench. Although the photos we took should be able to lead us to the old lady's fountain, I can't help but feel a sense of doubt starting to creep over me. But it's too late to worry about that now. Good afternoon. Yeah, I came here straight after class today. Though I apologize, it still seems like I kept you waiting. That's okay, I love a good side quest. I get the feeling we'll be apologizing to each other in an endless loop if we're to go on, so I hurriedly cut to the chase. I've taken pictures of all 13 fountains across town for you to examine. Would you like to take a look? I hand over my phone to the old woman and watch her flip through the album of pictures one by one. But after some time, she looks up. It's not there. It's one of the two they don't have records of. Huh? What? Th that can't be! They should be. Ah, I flipped through the pictures we'd taken once more. But while there were several animal-shaped fountains, not a single one of them resembled a rabbit. How did I not remember that? I'd been so preoccupied with simply finding the fountains that the rabbit detail had completely slipped my mind. But this has to be all of them. Maybe she just misremembered that detail? Or perhaps the fountain was relocated or replaced entirely? Neither possibility brings us any closer to finding it, however. I mean, memory is tricky like that. Oh. My chest tightens painfully at the old lady's weak, lonesome smile. Unable to express my frustration, I could do nothing but bite down on my lips. What should I do? Having heard her story, I just knew I had to help her locate this fountain. That's all I wanted, but in the end. Did you find the fountain? Huh? Upon lifting my head, I find Shiori out of breath and smiling down at me. Shiori? I thought she had said she wasn't coming. <laughs> I've only seen my face maybe twice this entire game. <laughs> Strangely enough, seeing her smile makes all of my stress vanish right away. Why are you here, Shiori? <laughs> You found the secret fountain? Uh, um, that doesn't really explain anything. Hero. Shiori. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Shiori, however, then turns away from me to face the old woman. What? I'm not sure what to be more shocked at, the words Shiori had just spoken, or the fact that she's able to hold a perfectly normal conversation with the old woman she'd been practicing in the mirror all night long. That's how much trouble I'm having wrapping my head around this current situation. でも彼は今この町には全部で13箇所の噴水がありますでもそのどれにもウサギの飾りはついてませんでしただからもしかしたらと思って直接50年前のことを調べたんです。ああ、オッケー。
You looked into the town's history from that long ago? I... この町の素敵な場所を紹介するブログを書いてるから資料はたくさんあるんです。ああ、makes sense。I was wondering how it was going to tie back in。ああ、そう、that's where she found this information。I would have realized that much sooner if I had just given it a bit of thought。本当は彼、初めから昨日話を聞いてすぐ、多分見つからないだろうなって思ったんですけど。What? Then why didn't you say anything? I suddenly feel embarrassed about how self satisfied I'd been. No man, eh? Demo, I know Toki, my mother, Chan to Kakunin dict the Nakatakara. You could have given a hint. Hajime got it, the Godo Chosha no Hitoni, Kakunin dict the Noga, Zui Saki no. So that's where you ran off to after class. Honto, a Junish Madera seen the Kedo, Kanko Kyoka no Hitoni Muri, the Aketemurachata. Wow, okay, I thought I was well connected. She sticks her tongue out, flashing me a mischievous smile. I hadn't expected Shiori to be this proactive, but there's no denying she's done us a huge favor. Tada! She turns back towards the old woman, her cheerful expression changing to one of apology. What did you do? Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! 50年も前のことだものね。For a moment, the woman's face goes blank, but a moment later. お二人とも、ありがとうございます。お二人に出会えたこと、あの場所が間違いなくここにあったことが分かっただけで幸せです。私が忘れない限り、あの噴水は確かにこの町にありますから。Her expression melts into a heartfelt smile. Shiori.、Uh. I don't know whether the feeling filling my chest right now is relief, satisfaction, or accomplishment. But in the end, I think the two of us managed to be of some small help to this old lady. この目できちんと見ておきたいと思いまして。Ooh, I really hope it's not like a power substation or something. わかりました。ご案内します。Shiori readily offers the old woman her hand, as if she'd been planning to do this all along. Though I don't share the old woman's sentiments, I'm curious to see what's become of that fountain as well. ちょうどここからバスが出ているので、それで行きましょうか。All right, field trip. Oh, okay, so it's the mall. It's a weekend afternoon, so Victorian Palace is overflowing with all manner of shoppers, families, and couples enjoying their day off work and school. Wait, the fountain was. Okay, that's a lot better than I had feared. この場所に確かにその噴水はありましたそうここが Having never been here before, the old lady surveys the mall with eyes full of emotion But as for what her eyes saw, only she could say 50年前、すでに老朽化していた噴水は商工会議所の建設で取り壊されることになりましたそれから40年ここには商工会議所があったんですがそれが移転した結果このショッピングモールができたんですなので当時の施工記録を調べても詳しい資料はなかなか見つかりませんでしたあの噴水がこんな大きなショッピングモールに私の思い出の場所は今もこんなにたくさんの人の笑顔で溢れてるのね Tears begin to glisten in the old woman's eyes, but I pretend not to notice. よかったね。Me too. Shuri snuggles up close, twining her fingers around mine. When I called out to the old woman the other day, I had no idea that our chance encounter would come to such a dramatic conclusion. はじめ、泣いてる No, it's just the mall rain. No, not yet. You're the one who's tearing up, Shuri. 
まだまだ先だけどいつまでも思い出を大切にできるのって素敵だなって思って I agree For a while after that Shiori and I watched quietly over the old woman as she stood basking in unseen memories of bygone days Oh, that's really nice お二人とも今日は本当にありがとうございましたきっと主人も喜んでいると思います It was my pleasure, ma'am If anything, I still wish we could have done more for you By the time we returned to the station, the sun had already sunk low in the sky With this, we done all we could for the old lady お気持ちが嬉しいんですよ I feel like at the very least we could have exchanged names at some point. Instead of just continually referring to her as the old lady. Oh, um, you're very welcome. There's something inexplicably embarrassing about being thanked with such sincerity by someone so much older than myself. Shuri smiles as she shakes the old lady's hand. That's us, Shuri. Though I hate to say goodbye so soon, the bus departing for the school island has arrived at last. Perhaps it's a bit presumptuous to say this of somebody so many years my senior, but having touched upon such an important page of her life, I feel a certain connection with her. Anna, Saigoni Hitotsudake. Yoros. Sure. What is it, ma'am? Onjin san no onamae. There we go. Kikasete itadakimasenka. My name? I don't think I'm anybody worth recognition, to be honest, but if she wants to know. My name's Ninomiya Hajime. Matashiwa Hanamori Shori des. Ninomiya san to. Can we at least get hers? Oh. Huh? Oh, um, yes, that's right. So that's what Shiori whispered into her ear yesterday, before she'd left. <laughs> Just walk up to her. Hey, old woman, it's you! The old woman watches us go with a smile on her face as we board the bus. She waved and waved until the bus rumbled to life and left the station behind. My old lady will never forget your face. Oh, this is nice. I'm so glad we did that. <laughs> well, yeah. We know what it's like to have someone you love so dearly. <laughs> Squeezed into this tiny bus seat, she represses our bodies even closer together. Do you need more space? Oh. If you say so. She holds my hand gently in hers, nuzzling her cheek happily against me. I'm a bit curious, though. <laughs> what exactly did you and the old lady talk about yesterday? Earlier, she said you told her we were dating. Ah, so that? Yeah, I do. And speaking of unanswered questions, actually, I still don't know why you decided to go back to the dorm by yourself yesterday. Well, yes, but if you could tell me, that would be nice. You weren't mad at me, right? She told me as such yesterday. You were Shiori. Can you give me a hint? Right. Something about a heroine always showing up in the nick of time. Now that she mentions it, I was a little confused by that, and still am. 
Don't tell me this is all related somehow. So nani ogeza na kodo janai kedo ne? Kino wa hajime, oba san no kodo de watashi ni tayoro to shi na kodo desho? I mean, I was the one who decided to help her, so I felt bad about dragging you along with me. Dakara, sore da yo. Ah. Moshi ki o tsukatta tsumori na no. Sore koso, hitori de kaite kureo wa na kodo n janai? Hajime da te. Well, I suppose so. It stings a bit hearing her word it that way. Well, okay, remind me not to get on your bad side. You were mad at me. Okay, well, whatever you say. Somehow that feels like a step up from simply being mad at me. Yeah, instead of being rescued in the nick of time, I'd rather have you by my side all along the way. The next time something like this happens, I'll make sure I talk to you first, Shiori. In the end, I still never found out what she talked about with the old lady. But I get the feeling I'd only be embarrassed if I knew. Hmm? Here, on the bus? Surrounded by what I assume are people? Right, that promise. She'd been too embarrassed to even talk about it yesterday. I guess the old lady's story must have had a huge effect on her. Not yet. I told you I wanted to wait for the right time to say it, remember? No can do. If I say them too often, they'll lose any meaning. Why? Ah, well, got us in a bit of a bind then, don't you? What are you, a little kid? I don't think my heart could take it if she said no to me again and again. なんてね。多分その時は嘘でも断るなんてできない。うん。それどころかきっと嬉しすぎて私泣いちゃうと思うから。I mean, you did when you accepted my confession, so I'm not surprised. For the second confession? I guess with hers, it was technically a second confession. Of course. I'll wait as long as it takes. She gives my hand a tight squeeze. What do you mean? You already proposed to me at the dorm, remember? Aha! It's my superpower. She pouched peevishly, swinging out, swinging our clasped hands down on my thigh in protest. All joking aside, I could see myself proposing to you at either of our homes, or maybe even somewhere we go on a date. What would be your ideal spot, Shiori? A clock tower. <laughs> or the auditorium. Guess that makes two of us. Well, it's no problem. She and I have all the time in the world, after all. There's no need to rush things. There will come a time for me to propose, eventually. I just need to think of the best way to do it. It's a lot of fun imagining our future together. But for now... Just having you by my side is more than enough, Shiori. Planning what we'll do together this week, where we'll go on a date next week, all those little things still bring me so much excitement. <sighs> Somebody's getting sleepy. She sounds a little sleepy, perhaps tired from all the running around she's been doing since yesterday. We've still got another ten minutes before we get back. Why don't you take a little nap? <laughs> I'm not sleepy at all. Head drops. Head drops again. 
昨日帰れなかったから、年末にはちゃんと帰らないと。お母さんから連絡が来て、はあ、絶対一緒に顔を出しなさいって。I thought so. Knowing our parents, though, it's going to be a pretty embarrassing reunion. Judging from what Yasumasa told me, though, they're already ready to welcome us with open arms, and I'm grateful for that. Maybe we should tell them we're thinking of getting married. Then again, I bet they wouldn't be very surprised. Hell, they might even tell us to do it right away.、Ooh. And she's gone. Out like a light, huh? I'm glad she didn't hear that last part. I was only kidding, of course, but it was embarrassing even to say. Boy, you really have changed a lot, Shiori. It wasn't even that long ago that I had her help me out at the school store, and that left her totally drained. Now she's running all over town to help a woman she'd only just met, and even being thanked for it. I bet even her mom would be surprised to hear about this. Thanks for all your help. I really am blessed to have you in my life. And I hope you'll stay by my side forever and ever. Oh, that's sweet. Falling asleep on his shoulder, whispering sweet nothings. Very nice. And now come credits. That was cute. I like that. Yeah, it was exactly what I was expecting from the childhood friend route, and it was pretty fulfilling, I think. I'm not entirely sure where I would place it on my ranking of routes. Probably somewhere around the middle. Because I'm trying to think, I, I don't believe there were any plot holes or any things that we really didn't touch on because the town ambassador thing came back around with them calling in favors at the tourism association and、um, eventually the municipal apartment to help the lady, <laughs> the old lady whose name we never found out, find the fountain, which became. The Victorian Palace. So that got resolved pretty well. Didn't do any more photo shoots. That was a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping we would tie into that a little bit more, but I guess it was more just trying to get Shiori out of her shell, which we covered that, I think, pretty well. And it was a fun route. I think there were a couple of parts that were a little bit draggy, but overall, I liked it. I think I probably would put it on the same tier as Ayaka's route. Maybe. I don't know if I would put it third or fourth, but it would be firmly in that area. Anyway, let's see what the time jump has in store. Darkness. You sure you don't want to go to the after party? Been there. After Shiori and I had graduated from Kensaikon, we entered college. Graduated, and then both entered the workforce. It's all been downhill from there. In preparation for this next step of our lives, we'd rented an apartment and begun living together. Today was the wedding of a friend of Shiori's from her college days. I don't even know how they'd met, but for some reason, I was even invited to attend as well. W yeah, you were her plus one. That makes sense. Is that not a thing that happens in Japan? I admittedly, I do not know. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe it's because I saw how happy the two of them were. But all of a sudden, I really feel like spending some time alone with you too, Shiori. Really? Oh, is this the day? It's already getting pretty late, so stopping for a meal at a nice restaurant somewhere doesn't sound like a bad idea, except for one thing. Do you really want to walk around in that dress and those shoes, though? Let's just order something to take home. Actually, I wonder if the supermarkets are even still open. <laughs> Did you catch the bouquet? Hmm? What's so funny? Hmm. <laughs> huh. Okay. I didn't think I was being especially considerate, so hearing her praise me like that is a little embarrassing. Did you want to eat out somewhere? No. Maybe there were some eggs and cabbage in the fridge. Let's All right, let's think of what we can make with eggs and cabbage. Sounds good. The food at the wedding was great, but there's no beating your cooking at the end of the day, Shuri. Then how about you make your special cabbage yaki? 
そんな簡単なのでいいの It's my favorite dish of yours, to be honest. この前は私の揚げ出し豆腐が一番って言ってた気がするけど。They're all my favorite. I can't believe she remembered that. Well, I just love everything you cook. まったく調子いいな。じゃあ今日はお肉もおまけしてあげる。All right, meat. Since we've got a lot of things to save up for, we don't like to splurge on luxuries unless it's a special occasion. Even so, I have no complaints about our current lifestyle. In fact, there's a small joy to all of the hard work we put in together. Speaking of, I wonder how Shiori felt about the wedding today. It's already been eight years since we graduated from Kensaikon. Seeing that even Shiori's college friends are getting married nowadays, it might just be about time for us too. I've gotta say though, the bride today looks absolutely gorgeous. そうだね、But not as gorgeous as you. でもどうしたのいきなり。It just popped into my head, I guess. Maybe this is a bit too sudden after all. Still, you were pretty lucky today, huh? ブーケ Yeah. Doesn't it go that whoever catches it will get married next? うん。<laughs> でもどうかな Aha, I was right. ねえ。Ah, hint, hint. Oh, come on! Have a bit more confidence, will you? It almost sounds like she's not expecting it to happen anytime soon. I was half hoping she'd pester me about getting married sooner, even as a joke. Well, if you really want to know why I brought it up, it's because I was wondering how you felt about the wedding. Eh? Do te? I thought maybe seeing someone else in their wedding dress would make you feel a little impatient for your own turn. So, that's it. I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not sure what you're doing. So, she already thinks it's about time, too, huh? Then I guess all that's left is for me to pop the question. She's not going to say no, is she? No, let's not think about that. Oh, sorry. Don't you want to wear a beautiful dress like that yourself, Shiori? Kire no? Yeah, a pure white wedding dress. Oh. Eh? Oh, eh? Go, go, me. Nante? Wait, was that the proposal? Ah, I messed up. I should have made my point easier to understand. Do you, Shiori, want to wear a wedding dress? As a bride, of course. Oh. That'd be in pretty poor taste. So, it's a. This is such an awkward proposal. We've been dating for a long time now, and we've even started living together these past couple of years. I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you, Shiori. I have a decent amount of money saved up now, so putting aside the ceremony for the moment. Will you marry me? Tears well up in her eyes, sparkling as they drip down onto her bouquet. I'm serious. Of course, we'll have to do all the paperwork some other time. But I wanted to ask you, first and foremost. That is usually how that works. <laughs> Blushing crimson, she places a hand over her mouth, trying to get her thoughts in order. It's all right, there's no rush. Maybe I should have picked a better spot to do this, though. I mean, I can't say anything. I proposed in the living room of our place. <laughs> Thinking it over calmly, this was a rather spontaneous decision on my part. <laughs> so was mine. That's funny. <laughs> you don't sound fine. Ah. I feel my chest slowly start to grow warm inside the moment she says the word happy. Ooh, I'm surprised you weren't a little bit more like. Hint, hint. Hmm. 
You're so cute, Shiori. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. How are you feeling now? Got your thoughts in order? I really hadn't meant to tease her. The sight of her fidgeting in nervousness, or perhaps embarrassment, just genuinely struck me as adorable. Still, eight years. You mean ever since then? I remember that well. It was around that time that we met that old lady, that, whose name we still don't know. But I can't believe you've been waiting for eight whole years. I can't believe we made her wait for eight whole years. It truly warms my heart to see how delighted she is. Yet there's something strangely embarrassing about hearing her bring up the old days. You're kind of scaring me now. But, uh, I'm sure uh, you don't have anything to worry about. Okay. Looks like I don't have a choice. Alright, alright, I promise. Well, I thought I was just the plus one, but I suppose I was. Yeah, I did think it was a little weird. I mean, I didn't personally know the bride or groom. Ah. So instead of a bunch of tiny nudges, there was one big push. Huh? Uh, can you explain? I was wondering why she made direct eye contact with you and said, Go long, Shiori! So it was all a freaking sham? Wow. I'm not. I'm just surprised. Seriously? <laughs> Apparently, I wasn't the only one thinking that it was about time we got married. Man, you sure had me fooled. <laughs> you know what? I take it back. That proposal earlier doesn't count. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd never take back those words. I wouldn't do it even if you asked me to. It means far too much to me. It doesn't matter what made me decide to say them. I'm 100% serious about marrying you, Shiori. So what do you say? Do you need some more time to think over your answer? She places her hand over her chest, taking in a deep breath to calm her nerves before doing this. In all honesty, ever since that night we shared in the student dorm, I had always known that she was that special one. Those feelings had only grown stronger and stronger throughout the years, culminating in this very moment. The moment Shiori had become the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I chose you, Shiori. Aha, you weren't asleep on the bus. Aw. That was really sweet. Hey, another achievement down. All right, well, I will say that was cute. I liked that end scene a lot, and it did have a time jump, which I will give it credit for, but it's not exactly what I was expecting. I didn't think it was going to take him eight years to end up proposing, especially to his childhood friend. It seems like, well, I don't know. I guess there weren't the same kind of time jumps in every single ending scenario. I feel like 
of the ending ones, I think I actually liked Ayaka's the best. Yui's was pretty good. Yamabuki's was fine. Honestly, I kind of felt that way about Yamabuki's entire route. That, unfortunately, I feel like that one ended up dropping down to fifth place for me. Overall, I, I had a good time with hers. Yeah, I would say I think uh, either Koshimizu or Yui would be number one for me. And then the other one, whoever wasn't number one, would be number two. Shiori might be third. Just barely eking out Ayaka. And then Yamabuki's was last. It wasn't bad. It, it didn't have the same kind of feel. It, it stayed awkward for too long, I think. Which is weird, because I feel like you could sort of say that about Shiori, but it wasn't the same. Like, any awkwardness there was with Yui, that went away pretty quickly in her route. And then Ayaka's weirdly ended up getting more awkward in the end, just because of how she is about relationships and, you know, stuff. I don't think there was one that I could say I didn't like. They were all fun in their own ways, but in pretty different ways. So that was a plus. All right, well, that basically leaves one last episode, which is going to be interesting. So we're going to be going through every single rejection scene and I think probably also checking out the alternate parts of the confession, if I remembered correctly. I'll have to see how to set that up, but I'll get that all worked out before I start the next episode. I'm going to rank the rejections on a scale of one to five. And one's going to be like, okay, well, that was sad, but my cold heart will survive and I'll move on and live my life. And five is I'm a monster and this is soul crushing to me. I will prepare some graphics. It'll be a fun time. Pop some popcorn and enjoy my misery. And then the confessions will just kind of go through. There's going to be a lot of jumping around with that, I imagine, since we've already seen the vast majority of those scenes. But that's going to be the finishing thing, so we have a little bit of a palate cleanser after all of those delightful rejections. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you enjoyed Shiori's Route. And I hope to see you in the next one as we wrap up Aishitel. For now, I am one half of the Bridge Boys, signing off.